Today we'll get up and running with NiftyNet and run our first deep learning experiment using a pre-trained model from the NiftyNet model zoo. Our objectives are to install NiftyNet and its required package dependencies, download a pre-trained model from the NiftyNet model zoo and explore its content, and perform inference using the pre-trained model on a sample CT volume, and then view the model output. All right, everyone, so let's get up and running with NiftyNet. You'll need your terminal open, and I brought up a few key websites here that we're going to need. First things first, you'll want to download uh, Anaconda if you haven't done so already. Get the version that's appropriate for your operating system via this website. You need a good general purpose image viewer. ImageJ is a good one if you don't have one already. And we're going to need TensorFlow and NiftyNet. So first, let's start with downloading TensorFlow since NiftyNet's built on top of it. And just for the purposes of this instructional video, we're going to use the CPU only version, just in case someone doesn't have a CUDA enabled GPU on their system. So let's go ahead and just take this command. That's going to get us to install TensorFlow. PIP, by the way, is the Python package manager. So by using PIP, you're going to be installing this package into your uh, Python site packages folder, which we're going to check out in a second. So let's go ahead and start with that. Great, now we have TensorFlow. We'll now get NiftyNet, again using pip. So pip install NiftyNet. Great, now we have NiftyNet. With NiftyNet installed, let's run our first NiftyNet experiment. To do so, we'll download a model from the model zoo. In this case, we'll run a model that takes an abdominal CT as input and outputs a segmentation of eight abdominal organs. The model is based off of this paper by Gibson and colleagues. All right, let's download our first NiftyNet model from the model zoo. I've navigated to the quick start page of the NiftyNet documentation to help us out. We'll be using the net download command and then specify which model it is that we're going to want to download. In this case, the dense VNet abdominal CT segmentation model. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it into our terminal. And the download will begin. All right, we've downloaded our segmentation model from the model zoo. And in the interim, I've navigated to the model zoo page on the NiftyNet documentation. Now by default, when you download a model from the model zoo, it's stored in a directory called the NiftyNet home directory. Now this is distinct from the NiftyNet uh, folder in the Python site packages directory. So let's navigate to the NiftyNet home directory now. By default, it's within our user home directory. So we go CD to get to our user home directory and we'll list out the contents and see that this is a new directory here, NiftyNet. So this is the default home folder. Let's check out what's inside it. So three folders, data, extension, and models. And the documentation here tells us that the data directory stores example image inputs, models will uh, store our trained model weights, and in this case, we already have some since we downloaded a pre-trained network. And extensions will store Python implementations of networks, loss functions, new applications, really anything above and beyond the default NiftyNet installation. All right, let's run our first NiftyNet workflow. Now, as you'll recall, a NiftyNet workflow can be fully specified by a NiftyNet application and a configuration file. And here we see the general command is to say net run We'll then say if we want to train the network, or if the network has already been trained, whether we want to run inference. We'll then pass as an option the path to the configuration file, and then which application we're going to use. Now, for certain applications, such as segmentation, regression, etc., there's actually a shortcut to this command, and that's what we're going to use today. And we're actually going to get that shortcut from the quick start menu for our specific model. We're going to go here to pick that out. So we're going to segment in the inference mode. We're going to pass along the configuration file, and that should get us going. All right, the segmentation is complete, and it looks like the segmentation output is going to be located here in this directory. So let's go ahead and check it out now. So I've loaded both the input data and the model output 
into image J and did a little bit of resizing for, so it's easier for us to see. But here's the input data, and we are provided with a CT of the abdomen, unlabeled, as well as a manual segmentation that served as ground truth. Now note, because we downloaded a pre-trained model, this one wasn't actually used in the inference process. Simply this was, but this is provided so that we can compare it visually to the model's output and see how it performed. And here's the model's output segmentation. Now let's do a level by level comparison, at least at one level here. And qualitatively, it looks like the model did quite a good job. Uh, however, in a later lecture, we'll see how to compare these two uh, quantitatively using NiftyNet's evaluation function. So congratulations on running your first NiftyNet experiment, and let's recap. Let's summarize what we've done. We've installed NiftyNet and its required package dependencies. We've downloaded a pre-trained model from the NiftyNet model zoo and explored its content. And we've performed inference using a pre-trained model on a sample CT volume and viewed the model output.